Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this 23rd of November, Tuesday, and it's the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. The Dow's down 40 at 35,587. My thinking here has been that we would see a little bit more strength in the Dow, but we would see the S&P and the QQQ index 100 start to uh, falter. And I think we're looking at that. Look at the S&P. The S&P is down. So the Dow's down 0.08%. The S&P is down 0.47% at 4660. Just yesterday, at an all-time high of 47, 43.83. And now it's underneath the 14-period exponential moving average. In my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, just finished a moment ago uh, from 10 o'clock to 11. I discussed this left side, right side disparity between the high of November the 5th and the high of yesterday, higher high yesterday with weaker technicals. So that's a big issue. Look at the uh, QQQ, NDX 100, now down 1.25%, down 5 at 394.17. One of the reasons why for subscribers to my opening call, we've been looking at the short side is because look at the discrepancy between the, the November 5th 400.99 high and yesterday's 408.71 high. This is uh, this is going to be a little bit of a problem, at least in the short term. IWM is just tanking. It's down 2.7 at 228.93. And most importantly, what we're looking at is gold. Gold is now down 21 at 17.85. That's really a key level to hold. I drew this in during my show, uh, these different trend lines. And we'll see because the, the last trend line in the weekly that is going to be support for gold will be if it takes out this week, if it takes out 17.70, uh, 1770. Um, and we'll see what happens there. Most importantly, what we're looking at is the TLT. Look at this bonds down again, down 83 cents at 145.7. I think this is also spooking the market. It means the yields, if you look at the yield of the TNX, which is the, the 10 year, which is actually where most of uh, the um, you know, car loans and all that, most of the loans uh, come, come from the action of the 10 year. If it goes above 16.91, 1.691, that was the high back in October, and it's trading at 1.644 right now. If it goes above that, that's gonna be a big deal. So watch these yields as well. And the only other thing I'm going to add right here is the, the uh, crude oil uh, has had a nice little bounce, but it's, it's in a, stuck in a lower range. Stay tuned. You've got Larry Pesavento coming on. You've got great program for the rest of the day. It goes Larry, think or swim, Kevin Hanks. Then you've got um, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien. I'll be back with Tom later on. And check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. Have a wonderful day. And see you same time, same session.